introduction. Hey there, welcome to the third session of UFABUS first module, Introduction to Financial Planning. Now that we have a good understanding of financial planning, the need for it and the entire process of financial planning, let us move on to understand what forms the foundation of financial analysis, the time value of money. This concept is an extremely important part of a CFP's learning and will be used throughout your career as a CFP. Almost 70% of all questions in the CFP examination will require a thorough understanding of TVM. The existence of interest. Before we understand the time value of money, let us first test our fundamentals. Why does interest exist? We all have heard our parents scold us, money does not grow on trees. Does this mean money does not grow? If money does not grow, why does interest exist? Doesn't interest in some way make our funds grow? Or is this interest provided to help with inflation? Then why do different banks have different rates and different periods of deposits? Money left locked in a box will not increase in value. Money grows, but only when it is invested in proper income earning avenues. Money has an inherent capacity to earn more money. And this potential is what contributed to the concept of interest or return. The earnings, however, also depend on how long the funds have been invested. The time for which 100 rupees is invested, let's say for a return of 10% plays a decisive role in determining whether the rupees 100 investment would earn rupees 10 for a year, rupees 20 for two years or earn another rupees 100 if invested for 10 years. Simply put, time is equal to money, time value. Does time have value? How much you have earned is dependent on how long you have invested an amount. However, to understand what motivates people to invest for long period, let's take an example. Consider a kid who loves chocolates and his father gives him a chocolate daily. The father now has to go on a 10 day trip and hence he asks his son to wait until he returns and offers to give his son 10 chocolates once he returns. The kid refuses. Instead. He asks his father for the chocolate before he leaves. The father is puzzled here. 10 chocolates is what his son would have received in either case. So why did the kid refuse? Here, the kid says, Mujhe kya milega? What do I get for waiting? The father is both surprised at his son's greed, yet happy to see how shrewd his son is. 